Right, hello guys, it's uh, that time again. We're back down the syndicate. Now, apologies for the uh, lack of videos for the last few weeks, but unfortunately I've been very unwell. So it's not COVID. I did have a COVID test, but that came back negative. So it's obviously something else, but I had all blood tests and everything else done. But yeah, I was getting up out of bed, having to go back to bed, just literally felt awful. Literally couldn't, couldn't make it for a day without sleeping. And uh, probably just a case of lazy bastard but uh <laughs> yeah it put me it put me on a halt from fishing for a few weeks which is gutting because it's all time lost and uh obviously i'm seeing other fish coming out on the lake that i would have liked to have caught myself but yeah that's part and parcel of it but well done to those who have been catching so yeah so we're down here uh, i've got in swim 10 which anyone who watches my vlogs will know it's a bit of a favorite of mine i've had some good hits in here and uh i'm hoping they all carry on in that, that way. But uh, yeah, it's turned cold. It's uh, not as cold as you'd expect though for uh, November. So um, yeah, it's been very, very mild. I'm waiting for some sort of cold frost to kick in now because there really ain't been much. So I've got the rods out and uh, we're fishing out on spots that I normally fish. Slightly off from where they was because it does seem that the spots I was fishing previously are a bit weeded up quite a bit weeded up to be honest. So we've moved along to areas close that are nice and clear. So yeah, so um, hopefully touch wood, something's gonna pay off and we're gonna put one on the bank. If not, it's nice to get a bit of fresh air. <laughs> anyway, right, it's gonna tip down now. The range is starting to come down, but I'll be uh, keeping you updated as always through the trip and I'll catch up with you all soon. Cheers guys. Well, it's raining. <laughs> Bloody hell, what's going on recently, eh? English weather for ya. Whoa, nice bit of steak. There's my potatoes, all nice and roasted up. But I'm gonna enjoy this. Well, good morning. It's uh, all quiet on the fish front nothing's happened at all so a very quiet night for me I uh, had some heavy range yesterday sort of left me a bit bivy band didn't want to be out in them um, I see that the fish are still showing across the lake on the other side so I, walk with it, I can't get to because it's not mine so that's quite frustrating but uh, yeah we're doing what we can so I'm out there at about 14 and a half wraps on two rods and my other rod I've got over here to the left on a, a nice deep area which seems to be pretty smooth and silty um, so on that left rod over there I've dropped out a pint of casters with some uh, crumbled up cremino um, a few micro pellet and drop the rig over that uh, and the other two rods that I've got out into the middle of the lake I have got pretty much the same tactic um, I'm keeping it the same. We're fishing noodle rigs uh, for a change. I know usually I too tend to use the slip D. Um, but now things are getting a little bit more finicky and now it's cold. So I've gone for something that's a little bit less blatant and also that sits just nicely on the deck for me. And I think it's a good shot. Well, I hope it's a good shot. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, take you over and I'll show you a rig. It's a uh, it's your typical noodle rig really, I'll set up as a blowback. But I'll take you over and show you it. And um, yeah, hopefully something will happen today. Touch wood, touch everything, fingers crossed, legs crossed a lot. But yeah, we'll see how we get on. Speak to you in a bit, cheers. Right guys, just gonna show you through the rig that I'm using on this session. Uh, usually I would use a slip D rig, uh, but now the weather's starting to change, it's getting colder. Uh, I'm favouring the noodle rig, and that's what this is. So basically, the the noodle rig just comprises of a long section of shrink tube in here, which you kick at an angle at the top, and you're basically making it like a very long kicker liner. So it just comes over the other hook there. Now this is also tied as a blowback style rig, as you can see with a little ring there 
and this is on 20 pound coated braid and when you tighten it up you trim the coating off to allow yourself a nice little hinge area just there so that the hook has got a good free movement uh, using my normal bright orange baitworks wafter and setting it off at the top here with a tungsten anti-tangle sleeve and nothing too complicated uh, this rig is a very well known rig and there's so many instructional videos online so if you just type in noodle rig there's so many people who are showing you how to tie it but the most famous person obviously is Scott Lloyd um, and you'll find his instructional video on how to tie it as soon as you type it in and I hope that helps. I will be doing a video myself in the near future on rig tying and how to tie them all but at the moment it's just uh, trying to get out fishing's enough <laughs> but yeah that's what I'm using and uh, cheers Well, good morning. It's the uh, last day now. I'm due to pack up in about an hour's time. So, nothing's happened. Looks like it's going to be a big old fat blank. But it's fishing really hard. I mean, I think... I spoke speaking to the bailiff and uh, seeing what I've seen and some of the boys on the lake that I know, there's only been two fish out in the last few days. And uh, they're pretty much all located exactly where I can see them where I can't get to them and to be honest the way it's looking with so many over there you'd think that they'd be hauling you think that there'd be loads coming out but there's not a couple of uh, low 20s so yeah it's it's going obviously you want to catch fish but if if you're not doing anything wrong and it's just the way it's fishing there's not too much you can really do about that um, yeah, so we've tried, and there's always next week, which I will be down in next week, so hopefully that's going to be our session then. So uh, yeah, it's, the conditions are perfect, like if you was to you look out there and you'd think, yeah, clock on, we're, we're going to have some, but nah, it's, uh, it's going against the grain. The only thing I could put it down to is that we've had... We've had some really insanely warm weather, really, for November. It started to get the frost, didn't we? And then, literally, then it just started to get warm. And it's pretty much stayed like that for three weeks. So maybe, maybe all the carp are just sitting there going, what's going on? Where's the cold? But yeah, we'll, uh, that's me out for this one anyway. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all on the next vlog. Uh, hopefully we might be able to stick one on the bank. Right guys, we'll take care and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.